Hey, good morning, Church on the Ridge. Hey, it's Friday, and I trust that you'll be with us this weekend. Love to have you. Uh, remember, the mask mandate has been lifted for those who have been fully vaccinated, and so uh, love to have you out. Um, we're not called to live in fear. We're called to live in faith. We're called to live as free people who serve the loving God of the universe. And one of the most favorite Psalms in all the world says this, I will, uh, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, you comfort me. And it's such a wonderful promise that so many people have found great comfort out of it. He says, your rod and your staff, they, they comfort me. And you think about that, why would his rod and his staff comfort us? Well, the staff was to lead the sheep. The shepherd had the staff. He'd lead the sheep, you know, pull them up out of the ditch or, you know, away from the cliff and whatever. And the rod was for beating back the predators, right? The lion and the bear and the wolves would come. And uh, he says, look, uh, let me lead you through the valley and, and not allow you to stray off and fall over the cliff. And let me lead you through the night when you hear the roar of the lion and the growl of the bear. And, man, it's scary. I don't know what valley you're walking through right now, but valleys in our world can be very scary, very deep, and very dark. And there's cause for fear in our world today, but we don't have to fear. We can uh, remember that the rod and the staff of the Lord will guide us, even when we don't know the way. We will feel his nudge, the push of the Holy Spirit, the little still small voice of the Lord saying, walk this way, trust me for that. And when you hear the growl of the bear, when you hear the roar of the lion, and all of a sudden your heart begins to palpitate and you're really scared. Oh no, the stock market. Oh no, the world. Oh no, what's going to happen next? God is there with you. So let's walk in him today. Let's respond to the staff of the Lord. Let's rest in the rod of Christ Jesus, our shepherd. Father, I thank you that you sent Christ to be our guide, to be our protector, to be our everything. When we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I pray that those who are going through that valley right now would feel the presence, the comfort of the Lord, the power of God holding them up and lifting them up. God, be with them in the midst of their darkness. Let them feel the presence of Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I love you, Church on the Ridge. Let's walk in him today. Let's walk through this valley. Let's not stay there. Let's let him get us through to the other side.